So let us start our first Twitter campaign. Right now I am in my Twitter account and in the previous video I have told you that how to set up various objectives for your various Twitter campaigns and how to set up the Twitter ad account. Just to create the campaign account, just click on create campaign. I hope you are familiar with this type of window. In the last video, I discussed all the types of objectives that you can use in Twitter advertisement. So it is not possible for me to teach you all the objectives in designing the campaign, but I will try my level best to teach you most of the objectives for campaign designing process. So let us start with the first objective. In the first objective, we have the tweet engagements. So as I said, the purpose of this very campaign that you want maximum people to engage with your tweets. People can share your tweets and they can like your tweets. So just click this one. So as usual, we have three different levels of campaign here. The first one is the campaign level and second one is the ad group and then we have the ads. So let us see how to work or how to start with the campaigning process. First, we are at the campaign level and we have to give any name to our campaign. I'm just giving the demo name, but you can give any name depending upon your requirements. It is always better to give the name to the campaign that you can recognize later on. And your name should define the objectives of your campaign so that it will be easy for you to remember it. I have just given the name to the campaign, just a demo one. Next, we have the funding sources. These will be decided when you will set up your account for the Twitter. So I used my credit or debit card for the payment purpose. That is why it is showing me credit and debit card here. But if you will give the banking or other methods of payment, that method will be shown here. Next, we have the budget. So here we have the daily budget. So you can set your daily budget but the Twitter is very much clear on this one that Twitter will not expend the more than the amount that you have set here. Unlikely in Google or Facebook account. In Google and Facebook account, these platforms can use more or less than the daily budget. But your total budget will not exceed the monthly budget in case of Google Ads and weekly budget in case of Facebook advertisements. You have also option to give the total budget here, you can give that as well. But let it be daily budget. Then we have the campaign start and end date. You can select any date from where you want to start and similarly you can set the end date when you want to end your campaign. So it is always better to give start and end date for your campaign. Okay, then we have few advanced options here. The first one is the standard and second is the accelerated option. I hope you know about because we have used these options many times in Google Ads as well as in Facebook advertisements. But let me briefly explain it. What is the standard and accelerated forms of budgeting? In case of standard budgeting, your budget will be spread over a day. So it will be spread evenly throughout the day and your ads will be visible throughout the day depending upon your budget amount. But if it is accelerated, then in this case, Twitter will try to show you the ads maximum to the people and your budget may be exhausted in the morning or in the early time of the day only. So it is always better to set your budgeting at the standard level. So this was your campaign level setting. So next we have the ad group. So again, it's a similar to our Google ads and the Facebook advertisement. So we have to set our ad groups. In the ad groups, you target your audience and you can create more than one ad group under the given campaign. So give any name to your target. Let us say this is my ad group 1. I am just specifying here. But here, I think this is the something new which I found in the Twitter advertisement, not in the Google ads as well as in the Facebook advertisement. Here for each ad group, you can give the start date and the end date. So it means, for example, if in your campaign there are three different ad groups and you don't want to start all these three ad groups at the same time and you want to start these ad groups at different times. 
so in this case this option is very useful you can just give the start and end date different for different ad groups in a particular campaign but it is optional so you can leave it if you are not finding it very useful then we have the total ad group budget this is again which i found new in the twitter advertisement not in google ad and the facebook here for each ad group you can set the budget here like for example you have given the total campaign budget but within that campaign you have three different ad groups but you want to use the different amount for all these three different ad groups so here you can specify that how much amount should be used for a particular ad group and for the other ad groups so but it is again optional so you can leave it as it is then we have the bid type under the objective that we have set that is the tweet engagement we have two types of bids here first you can give the automatic bid in this case twitter will decide what will be the optimum level of your bid and twitter will try to show you the maximum result within the given automatic bid so then second option we have the maximum bid in this case we have to set the bid and twitter will not charge more than that bid so it is similar to the maximum bid that we have discussed in the google ads so let me just discuss here two dollars per engagement it simply means whenever someone will share your tweet or someone will like your tweet then you will be charged up to two dollars here you can see the recommended bid amount is also there you can set the bid between 0.3 and 1.80 dollars so then we have the few measurement options for the time being leave it as it is so we have set our ad group levels now in the same ad group we have to go with the audience targeting click on next uh, before that we click on next if you want to create one more group you can take the group from here let us work with one group only click on next now we are at the targeting level you can see here from the flow chart of our campaign here it simply means to whom our tweet should be visible when we will promote our tweets so this is we have to set the audience again we have various methods of targeting the audience so let me discuss few of them here the so first we have the tailored and the flexible audiences see here you will find if you have any previously created your audience and save the audience you can select that audience from here so actually in twitter similar to the facebook you can create your audience so under the tool you will find the audience manager so from audience manager you can create the audience let me show you what it is so this is my audience manager and you want to create a new audience you can just create the new audience and later on you can use this audience for your campaign purpose but let us start from scratch so i'm not going to use this option so next we have the demographics so you can we have the options here you can set any gender men and women for your campaign to whom your tweet will be visible so i'm setting it any gender same way we have the age first we have the all age then if you want you can also select the various age groups depending upon your product and services next we have the option to set for the location language and the technology so just click here see here we have all the options here and you can use these options for example i want to set the location here so just search for your location and i can select that location okay we have selected our location here again come back here if you want to any target any mobile version that option is also available you want to target the ios devices and android devices let me keep it to the ios devices further you can select uh, which option you want so see here my selections are available here so same way you can select more options here from location language and technology so let our targeting be based on the location only let me delete this one next we have the audience feature 
you can target your audience on the basis of keywords events behavior interest and so on just you have to click on this tab and all the options will be available here so i will advise you to just explore these options more to know about these categories next we have the recommendations retarget the people expand your audience for the time being let them off let me see what is there under additional options okay you can also target if there is any follower of your particular account okay so we have set our targeting in the ad group let us see what next is there so go to next now now we are at the creatives level creative is your actually ad in twitter ads are known as the creatives so basically what we have to use in case of creatives we have to use our tweets only you can see my all previous tweets are there and i can use any of the tweet as my creative or my advertisement but if you don't have any tweet here that you want to use in your creatives then you can use this option of to create a new tweet just click on this one so you will be there on the interface where you can create a new tweet it is very simple the way you are creating the tweets and same way you can create the creatives here you can add the images videos cards and polls and further if you want to reschedule your tweet you can do it from here but for the time being let me use my previous tweet here to so select this one and let us have a preview of this tweet this is how my ad will look like in the twitter advertisements or in the others timeline so you can see the preview here in the web format it is in the android format and similar in the ios so we have done most of the things here and then click on next so we have to just review our campaign once you are satisfied with everything you have to just launch your campaign but make sure you have enough money in your account before you launch the campaign thank you so much